What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and we are back at it again with some more Demon Slayer. Today, we're doing Season 3, Episode 11, the finale. Now, real quick, some of you guys don't know, but the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Uh, come back here for the review when you're done, and if you guys do enjoy the way that is and the way that works, maybe consider checking out the Patreon. You guys get that for every movie, every show, everything we have here on the channel um don't forget to subscribe like all that jazz let's hop right on into it uh this one is called a connected bond daybreak and first light Ooh, interesting uh, uh demon slayer season three episode 11 let's do it daybreak first light yeah i was thinking the opposite i was like maybe we can stall them out until the sun hits and maybe that's how we get rid of hentangu but you know his ass would run away before then. Zenitsu? Uh, I love just seeing him in the season, man. I missed you. <laughs> That's what old man. I want to see him too. I want to see the other lightning boy. Are we going to adapt a thunder breathing into a, like a Hinokami Kagura or something? No shot. <laughs> There's no single. The fact that Tanjiro just fucking did that. Nezuko? Genya? Even with Genya's in four strength. Jesus, ripped both his arms off. Bro, if it's this hard to chop off Hantangu number four's neck, we're making progress. I was gonna say, how are we gonna do a Kaza? Or Dome, Doom, Doma? Sword is still enlarged in his neck. No arms to speak of. I'm still stuck on the fact that Tanjiro just used fucking thunder flash and clap. So he's feeling fear. He dares as you're running away. One more time, we're not going to do another one. Who said that? Whose voice is that? It's not Muichiro, is it? It is Muichiro. It's the loudest and most emotion I've ever heard in his voice, besides... Is that the sword to the first stage? Oh no. With the music kicking in, Muichiro on his fucking back. Shout out you. Shout out Kotetsu. Shout out Hotaru. Shout out Mitsuri. Oh, as they're showing up. All the Demon Slayer wielders, old Hashira, new Hashira. Everyone's hopes are in that sword. I fucking love that. That shit is cutting right through like butter. Oh my god. What the music? Chill out. Sun's rising. Oh, we gotta get Nezuko out of there. Oh. Run towards Tang. Oh, is is Hantanku like behind him or something? Is she trying to save him again? He can't be dead or something. He's what? 
Can, we, can the sun kill him? What's, what, what's going on, Huntangu? What the fuck, bro? So we have to make the all. Can we cover her up? Can we? Yeah. Can we do? Is this really? There's no. Sh the whole story is about Nezuko. Shrink. You got under the. Do any. This sounds so uh, horrible, but I would just fucking throw her as hard as I can towards Genya or Muich or someone catch. God, what do we do? What are you guys doing in this situation? Ah. He's literally trying to come up with a split second decision and I he can't think of, I don't blame him. Like, what do you do? Your entire being for everything you've done these past three seasons is about to burn up and die right in front of us in the most tragic way possible. He's literally crumbling under the pressure and I can't blame him. What do you do? Oh, I can't blame you, man. Is she gonna make the resolve for him? The she kicked him. He said, "Forget about me. Go save the other people." She, I mean, I've said she's a real one for the for as long as I've known her, but she is the realest of ones. Oh, are we really losing Nezuko? Don't start showing me flashbacks. I think how simpler times were back then, you know? I love this flashback. I love how we're going through everything we've done together. But there's a part of me that I, ref I refuse to accept this. She is literally the reason we have this show. She is Demon Slayer. Bro, we really lose Nezuko right here. How does one recollect himself after a decision is made like that? He has to not only accept her answer, he has to keep, I don't, <laughs> he has to process and accept that all within a split second and then, like, she is such a real one. I knew he was inside, in his heart? Oh, that makes sense. Bro. Like, this is... Oh my god, they animated that so beautifully! I do love that it was Tanjiro, too, who got to do it. Right in the sun, too. Oh my god. Please cut back to Nezuko. Even if it is, we I still have to like we have to be with her in her last moments. Maybe I don't... Doesn't even feel like it, bro. Please show me her again. Even if it's her Yeah, I guess she would have completely evaporated. Oh my god. What is this? Muichiro Genya crawling towards him? Gonna console him in any way we can, bro. How are we going to reconvene with Inosuke and Zenitsu? And how do we give someone an update like that? I have goosebumps just thinking about this. How do you console someone after this? What the hell? I was about to say, is she like cured or something? Because she doesn't look. No, no, she's. That's. Please give me an answer. I can't sit here just. If she says morning or some shit, I'm gonna be so fucking. I don't know what to say. I don't. Okay. Thankfully, we're still only halfway through this episode. I still have plenty of time to get an explanation. So I'm going to wait to say what I'm going to say. Tell them. Bro, just hearing Nezuko's voice. Only ever get to hear it in flashbacks and dreams and shit. I am so confused 
but in the happiest, best possible way. I don't even recognize her voice. That's how little I hear her, bro. Oh my god. Is she not gonna need the muzzle anymore? Are we gonna get a talking dance for the rest of the show? I would absolutely love that. You shout out to Tanjiro. Like I said, I can't imagine how someone would, would have been able to console him, but I'm just <laughs> I'm just glad he doesn't have to go through this. <laughs> imagine Kenya, how we started this arc, how we started our friendship relationship versus now. <laughs> Thank you, Kenya. God damn, bro. I can only imagine the emotions, the exhaustion, everything that's built up for Mitsuri, Muichiro, Kenya, Nezuko, Tanjiro, Otaru, Kotetsu. Mitsuri's still fighting? Oh, maybe this is just when he gets beheaded at the same time? And then he... Yep. Just like that. Technically, I mean, shout out Mitsuri because she saved our life undoubtedly, but shout out to Nezuko and Tanjiro for returning that favor right back to her. Three of the six upper moons are now gone and dead. Oh my god. He's livid that both of them died. He's livid. Oh my god. At last what? Did he find it? Or... Because that's what he's been searching. Immortality, you know, unchanging. Or... I knew something like that was going to happen. Oh my god. That's why. So we can find one that can withstand the sun. Is that why he's been just massively making demons? The, the chosen demon. I'm assuming her whole upper half was gone. Oh my god. Whoa, Muzan flashback? What the fuck? It's black and white too? Okay, and just like that. Like, for what? その医者の薬が効いていたというのが分かったのは、お手に入れたかと思えたが、問題が。あ、そう、he's at last, Nezuko, I cannot believe that this is how this story is a twisting. I don't want to pause it again, but we never ended up getting the story as to why he, I assume it was just, he was hungry and was walking past and decided to eat the Kamado family. But we never got that. He made Nezuko. I mean... I guess we know why he was making an abundance of his kind now, just so one can be the chosen one, but it's so interesting that it happens to be Nezuko, you know? A perfect being. So we don't have to keep her in the box anymore? Oh, thank the Lord, Mitsuri's here too. We have everyone. Genya's me. I am never going to get over to hearing her talk. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you missed, uh, you missed quite the update. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. That's what I was curious about. I was, that's why I, at first I was like, is she cured? And then I was like, wait, no, that looks like demon, you know, Nezuko still. I don't care 
But the circumstances is, thank the Lord she's alive. Is this mom? Oh, no, this is Tamayo. Lady Tamayo, what's up, girly? Well, Tamayo is quite the predictor. She is quite the smart lady, and I do miss her very, very much. Oh my god, look at the aftermath of this place. You know who we have to go visit now that Nezuko can survive the sun? We gotta go see Urukadaki. I saw the box and I thought of him. We gotta go visit my man. He's not wrong. You did a great job, Sir Tanjiro. We are all very grateful to you. You, Mitsuri, Muichiro, Genya, Nezuko. And just like that, the Swordsmith Village arc is over. Pretty sure I was about to say that's the same Kagoshi who brought us here. So just like that, we're going back home. Lord Techin, Ko Tetsu, uh, Hotaru. Thank you so much for all the sword smithing you guys do. Appreciate y'all. Oh, we will. Took the blindfold off. Ah, they all have to have like a little going away. Thank you to him. This is real nice. This gives me like One Piece vibes, you know. This is one of the best things about doing good things like people like Tanjiro do, you know, the appreciation. Sure. That would be a good time. Oh, as they play the opening. This was such a good season. Ah, <sighs> well, that was the Swordsmith Village arc. God damn, I already want season four. Oh, I uh, just got done watching it. I really enjoyed how they ended the credits at the very end with the sun rising with Nezuko and all that. I gotta get that out of the way off rip. I, the plot twists in this episode with everything with Muzan, even his backstory, I was like, what the fuck? We're finally getting that? Um, I want to, I, I don't even still know the full details of everything. He was sickly. He had an inept doctor that was giving him medicine that he thought was not working. I want to know what was giving him that sort of mentality that he thinks it's not working, this, that, and the third. And then he killed the doctor, realized it is working, but then he's a demon now. And then there goes the Muzan we know. So since then, he's been trying to avoid his one and only insecurity, which is the sunlight. And I love how that, we have that flashback immediately into Tamayo and her discovery and her predicting that this might happen. I miss her. I wish I could see her and Yushiro again. Great, absolutely great episode with everybody having a moment to help our main characters, even if they have their own thing, whether it's Misery and her saving us, whether it's Genya with the hand and everything, even getting on fire from Nezuko trying to save us, whether it's Muichiro almost passing out from the poison, throwing our sword to us because Hotaru wouldn't, you know, like everyone. Uh, I even love the moment Muichiro was thinking about Rengoku for a second, you know, like, this was such, and then Hantangu and the kill against that with the animation in the sun with us doing, it was so beautiful, but I couldn't focus on that at all because I was just like, please show me Nezuko, please give me some closure. And then the way they did that with like the crawling and then, and then uh, so many questions, but then she conquered the sun. She's a real, she can talk now. Oh my God, this next season is going to change the game. I'm assuming we're going to get Z Zenitsu and Inoscape. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. Tanjiro using Thunder Breathing, at least incorporating it into his Hinokami Ka. Oh my god. <sighs> and just it giving me like My Hero vibes when Deku would uh, use the advice from someone else's quirk to incorporate into her his quirk, you know? Or Iroh using water bending techniques and to improve his fire bending, you know? But it's like... <sighs> That was so sick. Not even funny. Not even funny. Ah, <sighs> such a great finale. Such a great ending. Uh, and this next season is going to bang. I think after this, I'm out to be doing Finland Saga. And then I don't know what other show I'm going to knock out after this. Maybe Oshinoko, maybe Danmachi, Heavenly Delusion, Bungle Stray Dogs, Mashal. There's a lot I need to do. 
but hopefully you guys enjoyed i absolutely loved this finale if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out